Hey guys, Janina here. Thanks again for watching. I uh, had to do some troubleshooting to uh, fix the acro mode on my uh, E011 thanks to uh, not fast enough from RC groups and of course uh, Silver Triple uh, X who uh, made this uh, acro firmware possible on these uh, little toy quads. Um, I had some problems uh, connecting this thing up. Um, now I won't go into details on how to install keel etc etc but there are uh, three main parts of the program. You will also need uh, some soldering skills of course and this uh, ST-Link device. Um, I will uh, place some uh, close-up pictures, uh, detailed pictures uh, in this video as well. Uh, but the software part consists of three parts for the program itself and the firmware itself as a fourth part. Uh, now it's, uh, the program is called Q. I'll put all the links in the description below. Uh, you will have to download the program, the flash program itself, a uh, driver for the ST-Link uh, USB programmer and a utility to uh, troubleshoot uh, connecting up these things because uh, on these boards and uh, the H8 blue board etc there, are, there could be some trouble to connecting them up um, and of course the flash uh, firm, firmware itself uh, this one is uh, edited by uh, made by Silver Triple X, but edited by uh, not not fast enough from RC groups. Thanks for that. Momentarily, Acro only, but he's working on a dual firmware as well. Now, after installing all the necessary uh, programs and uh, uh, updating drivers, etc., I uh, will connect this thing uh, up later on with the ST Link utility to the PC. First, open up the utility. Wait a few seconds. Make sure that not a lipo is uh, attached now for the mo at the moment, because it doesn't work uh, on my setup uh, like that. On some others it did. So it's connected up. I wait a few seconds and now I connect up a lipo. After connecting up the lipo, wait a few seconds again. Then press connect to the target. Now you will get some uh, numbers, etc. Not important. If it's connected, then it's okay. No errors. Now we disconnect it. And mine had trouble here. Let's close up this program. I first remove the LiPo, but I leave everything attached to my PC. Now this is still attached to my PC. I then open up the Q program. So once, once Keel is opened up, you probably get a different uh, uh, layout because uh, I already installed it and added the settings that uh, Not Fast Enough has uh, uploaded. But uh, I will show that again. When you first open this up, it will install some files, update some files. Just press OK. Um, it goes the same for when you load up the settings of uh, of Not Fast Enough, the Acro firmware. Wait. Press Acro only. Make sure to get this part to find the project files. And then go to Silverware. Now, mine is already loaded up. But uh, when you load this one up, uh, you will also install probably some updates, etc. Just press OK again. Now, after this one is loaded up, you will have to go to Project. Build Target. Wait a few seconds. Again, it will probably take a bit longer on your PC because mine already has done this. Now, I haven't connected up the LiPo yet, but now it's time to connect up the LiPo. Where did I put it? So it's connected up. And after that, wait a few seconds and press, excuse me, press flash, erase. Now it will take a few seconds. Full chip erase done. I have no warnings or uh, errors or whatsoever, so it's uh, okay. And after that, flash again and then download. And it will download the firmware onto the flight controller. Verify okay, done. No warnings, no errors or whatsoever. And then you're done. So this is the way I have uh, flashed my uh, E011. It could be a little bit different uh, for you. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and bye-bye.